Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we got to know some of the residents of Pelican Town a little bit better. We gave George a gift that he was actually impressed with on his birthday, which was pretty darn good. And we also gave Linus his little uh, blackberry basket back. So he was very happy about that. Now he can go gather up some blackberries for the upcoming winter because pretty soon it is actually going to be winter time. The season is going to be changing yet again. And uh, last but not least, we also found Abigail down in the graveyard in the middle of the night all alone while she was practicing her sword fighting skills, which was pretty cool. She actually said that she would like to go on an adventure one day, so I'm still crossing my fingers that we could maybe take her on a little adventure of our own. We could go into the mines with her maybe. That would be really cool. But let's just check the TV before we start the day here. It looks like we have um, a living off the land again. These are always pretty informative. So let's see what it is today. Winter is coming soon, and that means your farming operations will be coming to a halt. No crops grow in the winter unless you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse, but there's still plenty to do. More next time. Okay, so we'll have to make sure we uh, check out the TV, I guess, tomorrow. Maybe he'll uh, give us some more tips tomorrow. But that's what I was worried about. It kind of seemed like we wouldn't be able to uh, grow any crops in the winter time, so we're not going to have to worry about this little garden over here um, pretty soon, just in a couple days. But let's see what this letter is right now. Figured I'd give you this recipe I had laying around. Try not to burn it from George. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he gave us a fried eel recipe. Okay, thank you, George. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if we've ever caught an eel before, have we? Thankfully, we don't have to grow, or uh, not grow, goodness. Thankfully, we don't have to water any of our crops today. Um, we just have to pick all of the little vegetables that have grown in the meantime, which is quite good, so we can get right to work. Um, as soon as possible today. I think I have a couple of things to put in this chest over here. Some of <laughs> the leftover resources from the last episode. And um, our shell too. We need to go find Haley today to give her that shell because we didn't find her um, yesterday. She was one of the only people that we couldn't find. We had a lot of gifts to give around the town and we did manage to uh, make quite a few people happy. But unfortunately, Haley was not one of them. So we need to go find her. <laughs> and the fruit bats finally left us a little uh, piece of fruit. So that's good. I'm going to hold off saying hi to our chickens right now because I actually want to go down to Marnie's right away and see if we can get two new little chickens. I'm hoping she's going to be in today. It's a Thursday. It's very re rainy. Um, It's kind of a dreary day to pick up some new chickens to potentially introduce new chickens to our farm, but I hope they'll be happy anyway. <laughs> I hope they'll appreciate uh, living on... <laughs> <laughs> our farm look at those cows they were like hugging over there that was adorable okay so let's go up here and there's marnie so it looks like we can buy some uh, chickens from her today we can purchase animals there we go two new chickens guys we are going to have two new chickens to uh, take care of on cattail farm and i am so excited so let's see we'll place it right here of course <laughs> grillbert grillbert we're not going to name it grillbert that sounds very strange i think we're going to name the first one one um chirp there we go <laughs> we'll name one chirp and great i'll send little chirp to her new home right away and then the second one i am going to name let's see we have to put it over here of course over here in the coop and <laughs> simello <laughs> these are such strange names we're going to name this one peep so we have Chirp and Peep to keep Fluff and Quill some very nice company over the winter, and I think they will be quite happy. <laughs> I hope so anyway. So we can now uh, go up to our little chicken coop and we can say hi to our brand new chickens. I believe they uh, show up in the same day, right? I believe so. I think that's how it worked. They should be little baby chickens too, which is so cute. <laughs> and I'm actually going to cut down a little bit of this grass while we're walking by because we do need to make sure that we have enough hay to uh, last these guys through the winter. I would hate to see them go hungry um, toward the end of the winter, but I believe that we're going to be okay. I believe we have enough uh, hay in that silo to keep them all fed and oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at these guys. They are so cute. Okay, so Peep is probably going to be a white chicken just like um, Fluff. 
<laughs> Peep seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then um, this should be little Chirp. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. They are so cute. I can't get over that. And we have to say hi to Fluff too. Of course, of course, little Fluff. Fluff looks fine. <laughs> they're probably uh, very concerned about these little babies in their uh, home right now, but I'm sure they're going to take very good care of them. They'll be like the little mother hens of our brand new chicken so you guys play nice you guys play nice i'll leave the uh, door open even though it's raining because it seems like they don't really come out here in the rain anyway so i think they'll be fine i don't think we'll have to worry about that and of course our big chickens will be able to teach the baby chickens not to go out in the rain <laughs> now let's see oh our honey i just barely caught that the honey popped up as i was uh, walking away here so there we go we have some wild honey um, yeah, again, and I kind of feel like we should save this. Like, I feel like there must be some good recipe to make with the wild honey, or maybe at least we could give, um, some honey to some of the villagers around the town, because I have a feeling that they would appreciate that very much. I um, mean, the ancient fruit, too. Like, I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do with this, but I feel like we should be keeping it. <laughs> I'm not sure. And, um, the maple syrup, we might want to sell that off. I mean, we did just buy two chickens, and I believe they were 800 gold apiece. So let's see, um, we have some artichokes in there. Um, I'll keep a couple of those eggplants and we ha of course have some eggs. We always have eggs and uh, we can sort that to make it a little bit easier to look at. So there we go. We'll sell off the rest of the stuff. And um, of course we're going to keep our little shell on hand so we can hopefully run into Haley. I'm not exactly sure where she goes um, during the day. Um, I have had a lot of trouble finding people, just generally finding people in the fall time, and I'm sure Haley's going to be one of them. <laughs> and we managed to get some clay from those wiggly worms. It's actually been quite a while since uh, we've run into all of those wiggly worms. I did find one yesterday, but it, it feels like it's been quite a while since we've uh, worked on those. And you know, we need to find something for um, Harvey too. We don't usually go see Harvey in his little clinic. For some reason, I always forget that Harvey is like an actual person in the town. The doctor is a person we can talk to and gives gifts to. Like, I, I, know, I don't know why I always forget that, but <laughs> let's see if Haley is in her house today. Oh, Emily. This is uh, a little event with Emily, oh my goodness. Come in, Jess, I want to show you something. Oh my goodness, I really like her room, look at this. <laughs> that is gorgeous. It's my secret hobby, I've been practicing for months. Now let these sounds and motions carry you away to a new plane of consciousness. Uh oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna dance? What on earth? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Emily. It has become a raven here. Okay. <laughs> I like how we're just standing there, like, not bothered by this at all, just watching her. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what did you think? That was amazing. That was embarrassing. Or say nothing and do a slow clap. <laughs> No, no, those would be so rude. We're going to say that was amazing, Emily. That was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think she's a little bit tired now, huh? Yep. Oh, that was quite a workout. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered the pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. <laughs> well, I'd better take a shower. See you later. Okay, Emily, that was quite bizarre. I was certainly not expecting to uh, walk into that coming in here, but at least Haley's here so we can give her this lovely gift. And I think she'll be happy with it. Yeah, thank you. I love presents. <laughs> she's uh, pretty happy anyway. She's she's pleased. She's pleased that we took some time out of our day to uh, go find her and give her that uh, lovely little shell. So that's good. At least there's that. Now, I know we have a quest in here from the wizard, I believe. Yes, M. Rasmodius Wizard wants us to bring him a carp. So I think what we're going to do next is go all the way up to the lake by Robin's house and see if we can catch him a carp. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we caught the carp in the past. I think so. I know when we were trying to catch um, a largemouth bass for Robin, <laughs> we or not Robin, oh my goodness, for Jody, we uh, kept running into the carps and whatnot. Instead, the carps, the chubs, um, basically any fish that you can catch in the lake besides the largemouth bass. <laughs> That's what we were catching. So, oh my goodness, are we getting another scene? Oh my goodness, you guys. This is a very, very busy day. And it's Abigail playing the flute. Oh my gosh, in the rain, of course. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> She's really 
good at playing the flute too. That sounds really nice, doesn't it? There we go. We're just creeping behind the bushes again, guys. Don't worry. Everything's normal. <laughs> I love those little fly fireflies too in her lantern. That is adorable. Jess, why are you out here in the rain? Uh, just doing some work, enjoying the weather, or I could ask you the same question. <laughs> That's true. It's a little bit strange from playing the flute out in the rain, I think. But I was just doing some work, actually, because we were just about to come up here and uh, go do some fishing. So, I see. What were you doing, Abigail? <laughs> I came here to spend some time alone. She spends a lot of time alone, I noticed. She likes to go to the graveyard to spend some time alone, <laughs> sword fighting. But I don't mind your company. Oh, that's good, Abigail. I'm glad about that, at least. <laughs> She's not offended that we came up here and uh, listened to her playing the flute. You're getting soaked. Come stand under the tree. Thank you, Abigail. <laughs> Next to your little fireflies, too. They're so cute. <laughs> it's impossible to describe this feeling, watching the curtains of rain whisper above the silent lake. <laughs> Very poetic, Abigail. Oh my goodness, what do we have? Is that a little harp? Hey, a mini harp. You're full of surprises, Jess. I'm impressed. <laughs> Surprised even uh, myself there. My goodness. I didn't think we had that in our inventory. Are we going to get to play together? Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. So pretty, too. So fitting for this rainy, rainy day, too. I thought this was going to be a very gloomy day, but it's turned out to be really nice. We had, like, a rave with Emily in her house. <laughs> and now we're putting on this little concert by the lakeside with Abigail, which is adorable. Absolutely adorable. We're really getting to know Abigail very well, too, which is nice. I really like Abigail. She is quite... The uh, interesting characters. She likes swords. She likes to uh, sword fight and go on adventures. And she also plays wonderful little songs on the flute. So that's nice too. Um, I do want to make sure that we have bait on here. Okay, we have plenty of bait on our rod. So we don't need to worry about that. Now let's see if we can manage to catch a carp <laughs> for the wizard. Um, I'm not sure what he would be using a carp for. It seems a little bit strange. Whoops, I think I pulled that a little bit too early. Oh, dear. <laughs> not a good sign, guys. Not a good sign. Um, let's hope that we can actually catch a fish here. Okay, so this is going to be a fish. That's a good sign. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get that chest. <laughs> that is way too far away. This fish was just down here. It was a carp, too. Perfect, you guys. Perfect. Today is an incredible day. Oh my goodness, so apparently just because it's raining doesn't mean that the day is going to be a bust because so far we have had a really good day. <laughs> so I guess uh, we'll go straight over to the wizard's house now because we definitely want to uh, give him this little carp before he shuts his doors. Though I have a feeling that the wizard shuts his doors a little bit later than the other people anyway. I think we've gone there quite late in the day and we haven't had to worry about uh, not being able to get in to his little towers. So it seems like he's open um, quite late into the night. Of course, we can't go there too late because then we'll pass out <laughs> right outside his little tower. And that would be terrible. We don't want that to happen. So we'll just zip down there as fast as we possibly can and uh, go give him this little carp over here. Now, we need to figure out what we're going to give to a Harvey, too. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find him today, but we do have a lot of little, like, herbs in here that we could possibly give him. Maybe um, the wild horseradish. We have a gold star one, so he might enjoy that. Um, or the daffodils, though that gives you zero energy, so maybe not the daffodils. <laughs> I feel like he would like these sort of things because they do give you health and energy, and he is a doctor. So I'm just assuming that he probably enjoys those type of items. I think we'll try the wild horseradish and see if he likes that. Um, because we, we really haven't given Harvey many things. And we would like to get to know him a little bit better too. Um, we've kind of been stuck with the same sort of people all the time. Because that's just the main people. Like I, I know the most about them so I know what to give them. And I guess that's kind of why I um, stick to those people most of the time but we really need to branch out a little bit we need to make sure that we get to know people like sebastian and uh, clint of course and pierre pierre who currently hates us so much <laughs> for so many different reasons um and now we have a lot of mushrooms too oh my goodness four mushrooms from uh, that little harvest there 
and now we are all the way to the wizard's tower with more mushrooms. Mushrooms everywhere, guys, today. Mushrooms absolutely everywhere. They must be enjoying the rain, too. <laughs> so here you go, M. Resmodius wizard. Here is your carp. Ah, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here's your compensation. Thank you, Mr. Wizard, when we have to remember to collect this. <laughs> 90 gold, which, you know, isn't too bad. That's not too bad at all. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. Okay, like, he seems like a very mysterious individual. Not just because he's a wizard with all of, like, the, the brews and potions and spells in there. <laughs> he seems to know quite a bit about the valley that even we don't understand yet. So I would really like to get to know him better, too. Um, I'm not sure where he is on this little social ladder here. Where on earth is he? Okay, right there. So kind of toward the middle with uh, two hearts, in fact. And uh, we probably should work on giving him some more gifts, too, because he might tell us some very interesting things. And Pierre, look at this guy. <laughs> Pierre is all the way at the bottom right now, which is so sad. Um, we did discover that Sebastian really loves the frozen tears that we gather up from the mines. Um, I believe we gathered them up in the, well, in the frozen area of the mines, which is kind of uh, obvious. <laughs> so we'll have to uh, remember to go back down there and maybe gather up some more because it would be pretty nice to uh, have a little stash of gifts that we could give to all of these people. Um, I know previously we were looking for amethysts for all, um, for Sebastian and Abigail, I believe, because they both really love the amethyst. But we did find that um, Sebastian gave us that, like, big heart symbol over his head when we gave him the frozen tear. So that's why I want to kind of stock up on those for him, because he definitely seems to uh, enjoy those more. So I think pretty soon we might have to make another uh, mines run. Was that Harvey right there? Okay, I was wondering if he would go into um, the little uh, saloon today, and I think that is. I'm pretty sure that's Harvey. So let's give him this wild horseradish and see if he enjoys this. Oh my gosh, he does. He gave us a big smile. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. Okay, so now we know that we can give him uh, the wild horseradish and he'll be very pleased. Nutrition is important, so make sure and eat well. Try to increase your vegetable intake. <laughs> And that's why he liked it so much. There we go. Um, let's give Leah one of these eggs, of course, just like usual. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You are welcome, Leah. And let's see. Um, oh, Shane. We should give Shane the other egg because we know that he loves chickens. And actually, Shane, we just got two new chickens, um, Chirp and Peep. So maybe you could come down to the farm and check them out. <laughs> He seems so happy about that. I hope he does someday. Oh my gosh, Sebastian is in here too. That's actually surprising. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I didn't bring my other frozen tear. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. <laughs> I should have brought it. I really should have. I don't know why I didn't. Um, let's see. Wood. I'm not sure if Lewis would really appreciate, like mushrooms and hazelnuts so we're not going to give him those <laughs> though wait a second maybe oh maybe gus would like a mushroom maybe uh he could cook that with some of his little dishes let's give that a try let's see oh that's sweet thank you <laughs> well he wasn't very impressed by it but i guess he liked it he kind of uh enjoyed that nonetheless and you know i need to go check on our crab pots down on the beach too because i just realized that I have not done that in a very long time. <laughs> There's some more blackberries, so that's always good. We'll pick those up. Um, but yeah, we need to go check out our crab pots because I have checked the one that I placed um, in this little like stream that goes through the uh, Pelican Town here, but I haven't checked them over to the right, so we will check that out just uh, in a moment. I need to pick up all these shells, though. I can't leave these. It's like I have to pick these up. <laughs> I can't just leave them on the beach. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this trash. Well, actually, we can kind of use the trash now, so I'm not so upset. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get them out, though. I have way too many crab pots, guys. Way too many crab pots. Um, let's put some more bait in here so we can catch some more trash, of course. There we go. Some nice little bait in each one of these. Uh, except for that one. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Couldn't reach that one, I guess. And we have some coral to pick up, too. Oh my goodness, we haven't picked up uh, the coral in quite a long time. Oh dear, I think my pockets are full. Um, what are we going to get rid of? I don't know, like, do we ever use these oysters and stuff? The mussels, the oysters... Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this for now just because I don't think we've ever used it. I know we tried giving one of those to uh, Gus at one point and he hated it. He hated it so much. 
<laughs> so I'm not really sure if um, there's any point to keeping those in our inventory. But we will pick up all of this coral. Oh my goodness. I guess it's because we haven't been over here in such a long time that there's so much coral to collect now. So that's pretty nice. We'll have to remember that. I don't see any sea urchins though. Um, sometimes we could find sea urchins on this side of the beach too. And it seems like there's not any to uh, pick up today. Maybe we can't find them during the fall time? I'm not sure. We'll have to uh, keep that in mind though. We'll have to come down there later on. And it doesn't look like there's any more shells too. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> we need to make that totem pole too. I'm wondering if maybe we get like warped to this little statue over here. Little bird statue. And I know we have um, another statue at our farmlands. We actually have like a little bunny I believe right next to um, our cat Daisy actually. <laughs> a little bunny statue right next to her, um, her water dish. So there must be something special that we can do with those. I'm just not really sure what it is just yet. So we'll have to find out. That's actually the only warp totem we've received too. The only one that we can craft anyway. So I'm not sure. Maybe we need to like level up in the crafting skill before we can get more different warp totems. But let's uh, throw some of these things into the bin to sell. Um, let's see. Some of our coral because I know we can get quite a bit of um, gold from the coral so that might be good and we do want to make sure that we have enough um, gold to last us through the winter because it's going to be a little bit hard to make money it sounds like if we uh, can't really grow anything we're going to have to find a different way to make all of that money so that's going to be interesting I'm actually going to save some of the mushrooms too because I feel like I didn't really save enough things in here um, from the previous seasons and I know that sounds a little bit strange because this uh, this chest is pretty much full but I feel like we should probably probably be saving some of these because if I only had a couple more leaks then I could have given one to a George because we know that's his absolute favorite that's his favorite thing um those leaks and unfortunately I ate them all <laughs> so I wasn't able to uh, give them to uh George for his birthday but there we go we can put all of our trash in here so we'll get some nice things from that and we'll also put um, all of our shells away. And our clay too. We actually have quite a bit of clay, which is good. Because I'm sure we're going to need it eventually to uh, build something with. So that would be good to have on hand. But we better get into bed now. <laughs> it's actually getting quite late. And um, it's so dark because it's so rainy and dreary. But I am really surprised. We had a very nice day. We got to meet so many different people out in the town today. We had a little party with uh, Emily. And we also had a little concert by the lake with... Uh, with Abigail so that was really cool <laughs> but I believe very very soon we're going to be uh, coming up to our final festival of the fall season so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that the Spirits Eve festival should be showing up soon I'm not sure if it's tomorrow or if it's the next day I should have checked the calendar <laughs> but we'll just have to wait and see I suppose so thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all next time bye